What's up everybody, a Sparrow with a gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on Starbound. And when we left off in the last episode, we were kind of experimenting and getting our, uh, a little bit more of our footing with the whole mech mechanics and how to upgrade it and how to progress and all that good stuff. Um, I think some of these that are grayed out... I don't really know. I think some of them have been visited and it just maintained it because I haven't left the system since the last time. But this one that um, is a friendly ship, and this one actually was white a second ago when I clicked on it, and then I went and did some other things, and now it's that gray color. So I'm hoping this isn't some kind of uh, mix-up thing where it's not actually a new one and it's something we've already been to. But we're going to find out because friendly ships are really good ways to get easy parts and stuff. You know, there's that whole no one's trying to kill you, so... <laughs> uh, let's see... I've scanned all this stuff. No, I haven't been here before. Alright, cool. Can I do anything with that? I guess that's for looks. Ooh, upgrade modules. Eh? Okay. And... St stuff... I actually don't know if we have to dress like this. I'm just doing it to fit in. That's funny. In doesn't fit in at all. Are you a member of the Terran Protectorate? We used to deliver shipments for them until recently. You know, that, that recently thing when, like, our whole planet was attacked and blown up? Yeah. You're welcome to stick around for a while, but don't make a mess. I just finished tidying. Uh, anything... So that's a very small ship. I mean, I don't want to toot my own horn or anything, but, uh... I mean, mine's just a little, a little bit bigger. My ship's a little bigger. Just saying. Um, and I have a crew that's you know bigger. But no big deal. I mean, it's not, it's not really a big deal. Um, gentle star, unexplored. Let's go there. Oh, do I have to wait till I'm not moving? I think I do. Maybe. I don't know. I'll have to wait till I'm not moving to find out. Um, there are a couple of things, though, that I think I want to do in terms of, um, I think I had some extra, yeah, I do. I was going to say, I think I had some extra fuel. Um, eh. In terms of upgrading my mech, I think there's some stuff we can do. Which, which one's, that's tech material. There's my mech stuff. Um, is it under this tab? Yes, okay. So I have more of these, I have more of these. I don't have any more of the interface chips, and unfortunately the interface chips are needed for like two or three of the upgrades, but we're gonna go ahead and grab all of that, and then I need to check my Dura Steel as well. I only have eight? Ugh, that's not good. I need like ten to do the smallest upgrade, so that's not gonna work. Uh, oh, we have Space Anomalies. Are you hostile or friendly? Hostile ship? Uh, let's just run these three and then see where we're at. Whoever's flying the ship... Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but my... I, we unlocked... A, because some of these ships have not only materials, but the blueprints. Like we found out in the last episode, there was new blueprints for our mech and stuff that we ran across. And... Um, that will help us because then it gives us more options to build things. Unfortunately, I do need to get a pretty decent handle on where to find Dura Steel, mainly just because um, that seems to be a heavy resource. Um, not just the main components and stuff like the scrapped stuff and, you know, all that. <laughs> and this was something that um, I read in the comments was another good idea that I thought of after my last episode was essentially taking out groups one at a time. Uh, in the last one I made the mistake of kind of moving forward and I saw it while I was recording I just didn't mention it uh, but as I was flying I was like oh I need to get away from them and then I'd run into more uh, enemies and stuff and so there was a comment that brought that up too, and I was like, yeah, I, I noticed that, I just forgot to mention it, but it's a much better idea to handle small little groups like this, and uh, and then basically 
move forward rather than trying to fight a big group all at once. And I think that actually makes it much, much easier. Because it's like, like now we're getting batteries from the bad guys and all this kind of stuff, and so you're really not, um, not doing too bad. Um, I think for me it was the little ships that were shooting at me and stuff. I think it was trying to get away from their line of fire. And so I kept moving, and in moving then it was kind of like, well, you know, you keep running into more bad guys. Come here. Ooh, and they drop stuff. Sweet. But I would like to, I think my primary focus, we have a reactor blueprint, or a, a chassis, I mean, core blueprint. We have a leg blueprint, and... Eh. And um, then we have um, a weapon to, for missiles, and I think I would like to try those. Right here, I've got my mech. Why not use it? Because <laughs> that makes things easier. Ooh, and I got a stick of ram, too. Okay. Oh, what is this? Simple blueprint. Astromech boosters. Ah, we didn't have any booster blueprints. That's cool. That's good to know. gonna keep this combo. I really like for... Oh, yes! Another interface chip. Oh, another one! Score! Oh, another one! Score! How did I go so long without being able to find, like, one, and now I'm just finding them everywhere? How does that work? Hey! I'm in my inventory, Dagnabbit! Leave me alone. Oh, no, I couldn't have done that again if I tried. I actually shot randomly the little grenade thing bounced down and landed on the floor, and then when I shot it and again, it blew him back over there and knocked him into it. That's hilarious. That's one of those things that's like, you can't plan that. Well, some people probably could. I couldn't, though. It wouldn't work for me. Ooh, some of this looks new. Have I scanned all this? I know, it's bad enough that I'm in here, like, raiding your your ship, but no, no, I'm also going to take the time to, like, scan it, too. Glad we got some more of those circuit chips, though. Whoa! Did that guy with the hammer just knock the grenade away? Is that what happened there? I'm getting a bunch of these bandanas. Anything new? No? Sweet. Alright, so that went well. Okay, so next we have... This is actually a an, or an anomaly, I think. I don't think this is actually a enemy ship. Back here. Ooh, and a circuit board, thank you. I'll take that. It is kind of interesting to me. I mean, I know it's a, you know, a, a cartoony kind of loose game. I don't think there's a huge amount of thought that goes into some of the um, lore and stuff. I don't know, maybe there is, but just it always struck me as more of a gameplay over. Um, super accurate lore type thing. Again, could be wrong, but I find it interesting that you're in, like, an, an alien anomaly area, right? Yet, you're encountering the same enemies as the enemy ship, or the hostile ship things. Does that make sense to anybody else? Because I find it a little odd. I mean, the asteroid things I'll give you, you're out in space, but unless they're saying that the little ships and the asteroids are basically everywhere out in space. And it has nothing to do with relation to the ships. Maybe that would make sense. I don't know. 
I will admit, though, I much prefer fighting these things over the little fighter alien things, because they don't shoot. You can just kind of sit here and... Well, as long as you have the uh, drill shield, anyway. That's what I'm, I'm dubbing it. Hey! I was just talking about how you're much easier to fight. Now, don't make, don't make a liar out of me. keep hitting space thinking that I'm gonna, like, jump up, like, to go up. It's a very confusing control change for me, anyway. Whoa, these guys! I think I don't like them because they're, they're, uh, wow! Their laser strike hits really hard, and because it's a ranged attack, it's, like, it's a little bit harder to avoid. But yeah, the missile upgrade that we had is what interests me the most right now. I really would like to try that out. Um, and I didn't realize this either, but apparently you can actually mine this stuff when it's not part of like a ship or something. What is this, silver? So if we ever found one of these that had like a bunch of cool things... Salvaged actuator? The only thing with these alien anomalies is it almost seems like there's not really much to find here. Whoa, what the? That was interesting. Another chip. That's useful, at least. Yeah, see, like, I got way more than that from the ships and stuff, so I'm a little... I'm not as big of a fan of these alien anomalies over the hostile ships and stuff, because I just don't seem to get as much loot from them. I don't know, maybe that's just my luck, or it might just be me, and I could just be missing things, too, on top of everything else, but... Other than all this stuff that you can mine, but silver doesn't really interest me all that much right now. <laughs> that was kind of funny. <laughs> My uh, mech just went flying off into the distance as I teleported away. Uh oh, it's a lot of dots. Get him! I got him. Sweet. Ooh, what are you? Oh, that's one of those turret things. Okay. Well, this is new for, a, for an anomaly. Go ahead. Meh! Hmm, haven't seen those in an anomaly before. Whoa! Hi, red lights. How are you? Ow! Back off! Ouch! Stop it! Stop it! That's better. Ooh, I killed him already. Hmm. Wow, there's a lot of stuff all over this one. one way to do it. Just, uh, bull rush them and <laughs> use the drill on them and everything. <laughs> That's one way to do it, I guess. Oh, 
Oh, that was pretty. You gotta admit, that was pretty. I hit, like, all of my shots there. Whoa! Hey, now. Whoa, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. I know, I'm doing what I said I wasn't going to do, but at least this time, I'm actually, um, I'm actually moving into the areas I'd already cleared instead of moving into new hostile territories, so at least that's some improvement to my stratagem. Meh. Oh, there's another one. Crap, I didn't see him there. guys. Meh. Okay, sorry about that. Um, I was in the middle of fighting those guys and I had one of those stupid Windows has an update for you and it pulled my focus which of course causes fraps to freak out. So, yeah, that didn't go well. Ooh! Okay. Well, this is... different. Ooh, another chip thing. Now, if we're lucky, we'll find some Durasteel in here, too. That would be cool. Are you hostile? I'm confused. Are you, are you hostile? I guess not. Nice to meet you. Sure. That's the desk. Okay. So why is this listed as an anomaly, I wonder? Any takers? Ooh, simple mech. Skullduggery mech. Oh, that's cool. I can work with that. Another one? Stalwart. Alright. You're giving me blueprints, but I need materials to make the blueprints. Hopper mech legs. Wait a minute. Oh, I already know it, so it just gave me the blueprint. Uh, okay. I was like, hold on. Why did that one just show up as a blueprint? Or as a item? That's a big shipping container for two items, guys. Come on. Even I'm not that bad at inventory management. Okay, so a lot more of these chips and things. So we got a lot more of the parts that we need, which is good, but we don't have enough of the materials. Though, um, I may end up doing just some... like, selling off some things or something and just buying a few extras just so that we can kind of move forward. I'm not really sure yet. Okay, so I went and did some selling, made a little bit of, uh, about like 4,000 pixels or so, and then used the nine grand that I had to buy some more Durasteel so that we could upgrade this a little bit uh, relatively quickly without having to actually um, go through and, you know, do mining and all that kind of stuff right now. Uh, so, but I also want to look at our new blueprint. So this is the one that we have. I don't have enough Durasteel for it, but it's a decent balance between, um, our current one is one hip in each thing. This actually is two on both, which is cool. The reactor one gives three in max energy, but less in defense. And this one I haven't ever seen before. A mech body used primarily by pirates and mercenaries for obvious reasons. That's kind of awesome, actually. <laughs> I really like that. And I didn't have any boosters either. These were our basic ones, so these would be an upgrade. A classic design of mid-range booster historically used by delivery craft. And then Astro is more maneuverability, but not... Uh, flight speed, a set of mid-range boosters that use a series of long thrusts, or thrusters. 
So that's a bit more, isn't it? These, oh no, these are 10, okay. The hopper legs are 10. I'm looking at Durasteel mostly because we have a few of the other components, so I'm not as worried about them. But this is the one I wanted to use. It's um, It fires a guided mini-missiles type of swarm type of thing, which I thought would be useful instead of the, the flat cannon where I actually have to aim it if I can just fire it and they're guided. I don't really know how it works. Unfortunately, I can't really test it until I actually use it. Um, all of these require 20. All of these require 10. So if I use 10, I'm still not going to have enough, but I, I want to try the missiles, I think, first. More than anything. Uh, the other stuff will be cool, but I really want to use those, I think. Where'd they go? Uh, missile, missile. Oh, there's a, there's a horn. That's funny. Right arm is drill. We want to keep the drill. You could do, like, you know, missiles and flat cannon, but I really like the shield that the drill kind of uses. Um, and I think for a test, we're just going to go ahead and talk to him and, and give the second mission a go. Not that I'll really find what I'm looking for, or not that I'll really be able to do anything, but... How does this work? Ooh. Now when it says guided... They're supposed to be guided anyway. They don't seem very guided to me. Oh, unless maybe I have to target the actual thing, perhaps? I'm not really sure about how the whole guided side of this works. Almost seems a bit more like a long range. They're doing a lot more damage, though. My flat cannon was, what, like 100? This is like 280? 240? What happens up close? Still doing 280. So it's still doing more damage. I don't think I can hurt that. Hmm. I think it's doing more. Like, I think it's useful. Anyway, I hope. I don't really know. I feel like it would it would be useful in terms also of um, things that aren't line of sight. Wow, that hit hard. By the way, hmm, it does seem to be a bit more inaccurate though. Okay, I guess we're going this way again. Did I ever find out, like, can we open this door and stuff? Is that a thing? I don't think we can. These are actually kind of useful for getting your health and energy kind of back. I feel like there's got to be a way to open those. Ooh. Stop it! Okay. Uh, that did 40, so that's pretty good. Oh, his fire rate was higher than I expected. Uh oh. Back away, back away, back away. Please back away. Oh, I can't- oh! Uh, okay. That was unexpected. Hmm, okay. So we need a lot more Durasteel so that we can build better parts. <laughs> okay, so when I went to change systems, I found um, a couple of more- there was a, a hostile ship and another anomaly out and about here. So we're going to try our hand at this, and also it'll give us a little bit more practice with these missiles and kind of figure out exactly how they work, because I'm, I'm a little confused on them, mainly just because of the guided part. It said they were guided, 
but they don't really seem to track very well. They kind of... they're more like rockets that scatter. So I'm kind of, um... I'm kind of missing the guided part here. I'm not really sure where that comes into play. I mean, they do seem to kind of track, but they're not really, like... I guess there's a difference between guided and homing, maybe. Ow! Or maybe I have to have the crosshair on it for them to track it or something. I don't know. I kind of assumed it was more like just almost like heat seeking, like they would just track whatever, you know, they were closest to. Like that. That kind of seemed to track. Could be distance too. Maybe I have to be further away. Um, on the plus side, I don't really intend to get rid of, unless I find upgraded versions of the same weapons or something, I don't really intend to get rid of any of my weapons or anything, so I'm not really worried about um, like if I really don't like it, I can always just swap it back out for my flak gun. Okay. So, where are we at now? Should be relatively close, I think, at this point. Maybe? Yep. There we go. Ooh, now this is something I wonder about, too. Can I just fire them like that and have it... I mean, it kind of worked. I don't know if that was blind luck or not, though. Oh! <laughs> that was cool. A little bit of overkill, but does anyone really care, honestly? Oh, and the other thing is I found my, uh, I found my homing rocket. I had mentioned it the, uh, a few episodes ago that I couldn't remember if I kept it or not. I did actually find it. So, I should be able... Yeah, I missed this guy. I missed that little guy. Now, unfortunately, it doesn't do as much damage as some of my newer weapons do. Because it was an older weapon that I found. Um, so we'll still probably go with this for, like, close quarters and stuff. Just gonna keep launching them over the edge. I like this little gun. This little guy's awesome. Um, all right. I think I have all of this blueprint set type of thing. Come on, give me some Duras deal. That would be really awesome, actually. I mean, I'm liking all the mech components anyway because I'll need a bunch of them first place. Go ahead, open the door. I dare you. That's right. See, like this. Boom. <laughs> I missed that little guy, though. Whoa, what is that? The heck kind of weapon is that? He's got like a battle axe. Oh, what is this? Melody Mech Horn. Huh. So we actually found a a horn for the mech. That's funny. All right. So I think this is going to be our last run for this episode and I'm hoping that in between or maybe wow. Hi. Possibly next episode hoping to either do it in that episode or in between and and acquire enough uh, Durasteel that we can actually upgrade our mech a bit more and then do the, uh, the other mission thing. Oh, come on. Thank you. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure if I like these missiles or not. I mean, they do more damage, but they're a little confusing as far as how they, how their aiming thing works. It's like one minute they scatter and then the next minute they track. It's kind of confusing. I was kind of hoping it would be more like the the guided rocket launcher one where I could just fire it and it would track them. I mean, they kind of do. It almost seems like I need range. That seems like it might be the, the factor is I might be used to fighting too close and it doesn't have time to actually swarm. So that may be something I have to change in like my play style with the mechs. 
is to kind of try and get away. Yeah, I'm starting to see that as probably the the way this really works, like, effectively, if you're really wanting to get the most out of them. It's probably stay further away, which makes sense. I mean, they are missiles, so you don't really usually want to use those up close and personal. Um, what is it tracking? It keeps, like, jumping to the other side. What is it? What is it doing? Where are you aiming at, dude? Like, what? What? What are you doing? Oh, oh my, holy crap. They came out of nowhere. Ow. Missiles, what are you aiming at? Aim at the things in front of you, dang nabbit. Yeah, they actually didn't come out too bad for that. Hi. Oh, come. You're supposed to help me aim, not make me aim worse. I'm doing better with my flat cannon. Whoa. I feel like this is one of those where you either need to be far enough away for them to track or just be straight point blank where they don't have time to go anywhere. That kind of seems to be the defining characteristic here. Oh. Missiles! What are you doing? Why are you going away from the target? Stupid things. Um, gimme. Thank you. Yeah, see, like that, when they're stationary and they're distance, they seem to work the best. <clears throat> they seem to work the best. And they don't swerve off and go target some random thing that really has nothing to do with what you're aiming at. Woo! Back off. I really need a better weapon, though. I've decided that's 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 something that needs to happen. The flat cannon is more accurate, but doesn't do as much damage because it's older. Well, I say, ooh. Now, hello. We haven't had one of these before. Where we actually got to get out. Oh, dang, nabbit! It's like. That's what I'm saying. These alien anomalies are kind of letdowns to me. Because you get, like, to see stuff, and it's like, oh, okay, that's cool. And then you get, like, two or three crates, and that's it. The actual, like, um, friendly and hostile ships, you get to, like, run around and loot a bunch of crates and all that kind of stuff. Alright, oh well. Leaving my, leaving my mech. Um, so yeah, I think that's actually going to do it for us for this episode. Um, I am going to go visit this other friendly ship that popped up, I think. But I think we're out of time for the... Ah, screw it. We'll just show it. Alright. Yeah, we'll just go ahead and run through this real quick. Actually, this looks like a small ship anyway. So, not too crazy here. Actually, there's not a lot of storage containers for me to loot. What's the deal, guys? You're supposed to be, like, my shopping mall. You're supposed to have stuff for me to collect. Come see Florin's wares. Does War does Florin sell, um, Durasteel? Hmm? No, of course you don't. That's what I need. Alright, so I think that's going to do it for us for this episode. I think we're going to wrap things up here. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I will see you all next time. Peace!